let us uh, discuss about structure of C program first in this video and in our later videos we will understand the remaining items structure of C program given here is the common structure of C programs the first one is the comments it is always better to include comments in your program it will enhance the readability of your program maybe you you want to write a program some for some purpose that purpose you want to include in the comment so comments about the program why you want to do the program then uh, who is uh, doing that program name of the programmer and date of creation of the program all these things you can include in the comment section before the start of your program c program and all the c programs uh, starts with preprocessor directives for example hash include std io dot h is a preprocessor directive this std io means standard input output functions if you include this preprocessor directive then you can acquire data for example using scanner uh, statements then you can print the data using for example uh, print of statements so those functions like scanf and printf are included in this library function standard input output hence this hash include std io.h preprocessor directive is compulsorily to be used in c program and you may use some other preprocessor directives like for example you want to define some variable here i have defined the constant pi which is 22 by 7 3.14 so if i define like this hash define pi 3.14 then wherever i use pi in my program the processor itself will understand that the value is 3.14 this is the another example of a preprocessor directive then starts your main function of your c program your main function block normally includes the following items like you have to declare the variable and sometimes you will initialize also and sometimes you want to use constant that you have to declare and then you will acquire the data or read the input process the data maybe once or sometimes repeatedly you will process the data and then print the output this is what your main function block contains so this explains the structure of c program make sure that whenever you write a c program uh, all these items has to be included and what is the step 5 test and verify the completed program so after understanding how to implement your algorithm in a program you want to test whether your program is working properly or not so for that you need to check for uh, syntax errors, logical errors. Sometimes you will have runtime errors also that you have to check. Then compile and run the program. In case if you have errors, then you have to debug the program. These errors, identification, understanding we will cover in our later videos. Don't worry. Then check whether the required output obtained is the solution for the problem. That is very important. You might have got some output. But you want to check whether that is the required output which is the solution for the problem. This is step 5. Step 6 is maintain and update the program. Once you have compiled the program correctly with required output, then you have to document the program with proper comments. You have to store the files properly. Then update the program if any requirement change is identified. For example, if kilometer or miles those requirements are changed, you need to update the program. So these are the uh, steps in problem solving approach. To summarize the problem solving approach in software development method. So whatever we have seen now comprises the software development method. First step, we analyzed the problem, that is understanding of the problem. Second step, data requirements, we identified the data required for uh, solving this problem. Third step is design of pseudocode or algorithm or program to solve the problem. 
fourth step implement the program and then fifth one design uh, test and verify the completed program then maintain and update the program so these are the uh, uh, six steps that are uh, given in software development method this is called problem solving approach in programming language so whenever you want to solve problems in programming language or using some programming language you have to follow these six steps this is the guided approach to solve the problem in our next video we will compile a program for example we create a c program for this uh, uh, kilometer conversion and then i will explain how to compile it and get the output those things thank you